All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Marvel Legends set. And uh, this is the X-Men the uh, X-Men Le Legends assortment set. And um, yeah, with the yellow uh, box art. Yeah, Legend series with the X-Men. And uh, let's see, the back of Wolverine's box. Here are all the figures in this wave. And you can build Juggernaut out of this. So here's everyone. We have Havoc, um, Wolverine, Iceman, Kitty Pryde, uh, Cable back there, and then Rogue, and Deadpool, and Phoenix, and Juggernaut. So here's everyone. Uh, two, four, six, eight, uh, eight figures and one build a figure, which mix nine and uh, this is the only one I bought uh, a full set of uh, because I really do like uh, almost all the characters here uh, I'm not too familiar with Havoc and um, Kitty Pry, but uh, everyone else I'm very uh, pretty familiar with uh, I've seen the 90s uh, cartoon so I'm more aware of the characters from there and uh, really uh, two two figures that uh, it's a must-have uh, for me would be Rogue and uh, Deadpool. Those are the two that I really wanted. And um, saw the uh, the the um, the wave assortment and uh, thought these characters were all really good. And uh, even Wolverine, uh, even this Wolverine, it's uh, really articulated. And uh, so I decided to get this. Uh, wave and uh, can't wait for the next one where it has uh, Cyclops and but that wave I only want Cyclops and I don't want anyone else so might be hard to find that one but uh, yeah this is the the wave right here so I'm not gonna go crazy and uh, shows articulation for every one of these figures uh, because it's not necessary and uh, you, we all know uh, what these figures comes with um, uh, as far as our uh, range motion because uh, uh, I really do like the abdominal crunch uh, with these uh, Marvel Legends. This one has it, uh, Havoc. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys a detailed look at it. And that's about it. And uh, this uh, Havoc comes with uh, two accessories, would be these two effect pieces, which uh, you just clamp onto the wrist. And let's uh, look at the head sculpt. And the paint job on it, it's uh, it's okay, not the greatest, uh, but it's um, not too bad. I am uh, okay with. Uh, yeah, so there's havoc. And next up is Wolverine, uh, another Wolverine, which um, I think I have a few Wolverines now, and but uh, they aren't all from the same uh, same line. Uh, I mean, not the same. Uh, time frame I guess uh, this one that's uh, he's wearing the uh, brown and yellow uh, outfit and our articulation on this one is really good uh, you can see the neck uh, there's a hinge joint on the base of the neck which allows him to look up uh, quite a bit uh, and uh, the abdominal crunch that works out really well for uh, some uh, for a character like this like Wolverine and then uh, he also has the shoulder blade joint uh, which uh, allows him to swing his arms uh, outwards uh, quite a bit more and inward as well. So this is uh, definitely by far the best Wolverine I think we've seen so far. Yeah. Oh, and he comes with a pair of fists. And that's about all the accessories he comes with. This one might be a little hard to see, but it's Iceman, and um, he is uh, translucent plastic. And I found the Transfers and Plastic to be a little bit um, loosey-goosey because uh, there's no paint attached to it, so uh, no friction whatsoever. So he tends to um, flop around a bit more than other figures, but uh, still uh, quite a nice one. And uh, he has an attachment that's on his back, uh, these icicles, that's attached to his backside right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but yeah, there it is. And Iceman also has these uh, uh, swing around shoulder blades and uh, the abdominal crunch as well. And also the um, the hinge joint, the base of the neck. 
so quite nice. And next up we have Kitty Pry. Uh, there she is. Uh, basic female body uh, with the extra pieces sculpted on. Uh, like the V-shape around the chest area. And uh, an extra accessory, the belt. And uh, she comes with a little dragon and the onslaught uh, head. And one thing I'm really impressed with uh, when it comes to this uh, Kitty Pry figure was the head sculpt. Uh, how nice it looks and uh, the paint job on it is uh, it's perfect. You can see the eyes, um, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, no paint bleeds whatsoever around the face, which I'm very, very happy about. That's a really good looking uh, Kitty Pry. Kitty Pry here. And uh, cool pose too. And next up we have Cable. Um, not sure about this outfit. Uh, I don't read comics. I don't read the Marvel comics so I'm not sure exactly where this outfit came from. But uh, still a nice looking Cable. I uh, wish we got the um, 90s cartoon version of Cable. Uh, that one I, I would like uh, quite a bit more than this one, but uh, I'm okay with this. Uh, cable, it's Cable I guess. Yeah, it comes with uh, two weapons, two big weapons. One right here and the other one right there. I believe this one it's, uh, it's the same weapon that Hope uh, got. Uh, uh, it's a reissue figure, uh, a reissue uh, weapon. Uh, yeah. Because I believe Hope has this weapon as well, so yeah. There's Cable, good looking figure, uh, still happy with it. And next up, we have Rogue. And uh, she comes with one accessory, which is the hand. Um, the other hand, it's a, uh, it's a gloved hand. Uh, this one is an exposed hand. Uh, paint job on her, it's... Quite nice. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, the eyes are a little bit weird. They might be a little too far apart. Uh, whether it's due to the paint or the sculpt, I'm not quite sure. But they are a little bit too far apart. But other than that, it's uh, still an awesome looking figure. Glad to have this in my collection because this looks exactly like the 90s cartoon. The Jim Lee style um, uh, rogue. There she is. And next up we have Deadpool. Now this figure comes with a lot of accessories. That's why this is the only figure that didn't have a Build-A-Figure piece. Because uh, he's jam-packed with accessories. You see there's a uh, long weapon right here. And he's holding a somewhat of a grenade launcher there. And then uh, he has a belt with a pistol. And a uh, thigh harness with another pistol. And it comes with a unmasked head and a taco and on the back side he has a grenade launcher and two swords so he's jam-packed with accessories awesome for Deadpool and uh, I believe the majority of the items uh, are removable uh, you can remove the harness, uh, slips on quite easily. The belt, uh, I don't think you can, uh, even though it's a separate piece, but uh, there's no opening for you to loop this through or uh, a buckle where you could remove the belt. Now the thigh piece, uh, you can slide that off his, uh, his leg there. And then uh, oh, oh, and then he also has some, this little knife back here. That's uh, It's a removable knife, but the holster itself is not. So, uh, yeah, a majority of stuff is removable, but not everything. And, uh, but he is a really awesome looking Deadpool. My very first uh, legend size uh, Deadpool. Yeah, so, yeah, there he is. And here's Phoenix. Uh, she doesn't come with any accessories. Uh, it would have been nice if she came with some effect pieces, uh, like Havoc. Uh, but she doesn't, and uh, I'm okay with it, I guess. Uh, head sculpt is nice. Uh, it's a little weird looking. Not, not too sure about that, but uh, it's still nice, though. Overall, it's still nice. And uh, there's uh, the hair. 
and the rest of her. Yeah, not a whole lot to this figure because uh, everything else is just painted on. Uh, the emblem is painted on, and then the gloves are painted on. Everything else is painted on, uh, other than uh, the this uh, little, sc little scarf thing around around her waist. That's the only separate piece. Everything else is uh, it's just a paint job. And lastly, we have Juggernaut, and uh, this is a build a figure piece. Let's see that head sculpt underneath there. Quite, uh, quite a crazy looking head sculpt. Um, his articulation, I probably will go over. Um, head is on a ball joint, uh, which uh, base of the neck there's a hinge joint, uh, so he could look up a little bit more, but he doesn't. So that was a little disappointing. And then um, shoulders on a ball hinge, and then bicep, there's a rotation joint right there. And then uh, elbows on a hinge joint, which is a bit disappointing. Um, I guess because how um, thick these arms are um, and short they are, that uh, you can add a double joint there, uh, which will make them look kind of weird uh, with really long arms. And then um, the wrists on a ball hinge joint, and then abdominal crunch, which helps a lot for a figure to crunch down or arch back. And then the waist, uh, there's a swivel joint, but it is covered up by the um, the belt. And the belt is a separate piece, which is nice. And then we have a ball hinge. Uh, uh, we have these uh, uh, ball, well, ball jointed hips. And then swivel joint around the thigh, and then the hinge joint around the knees, and uh, and then the hinge joint around the ankle and uh, ankle rocker. So nice. Actually, uh, I'm wrong. Uh, there is a um, hinge joint base of the neck, but. I guess uh, he could look up about that much, and that's about it. Uh, which is still uh, impressive uh, compared to uh, a lot of other figures. So uh, a lot of other versions, uh, versions of uh, Juggernaut here. And here's a comparison uh, on the left. Here I have the Marvel Legends. Uh, no, Marvel Selects uh, Juggernaut, and uh, the one on the right is Marvel Legends. And uh, height-wise, they are almost exactly the same. Um, the Select one, it's a little taller. And, <clears throat> and um, the Abdominal Crunch, the Legends one is definitely a lot better than the Select one. The Select, you could barely move it. And then uh, as far as uh, range of motion, um, the select one is really lacking, uh, even though it has a lot of joints, but uh, it is hindered by the muscles and um, everything else. Uh, the select, I mean, what am I saying? This is the select one, and then the Legends one is a lot better with the uh, range of motion. Yeah, so select looks nice. Uh, sculpt on this one is a lot nicer than the legends because you can see the armor itself uh, has a lot of uh, patterns and such on here which the legends is lacking it's quite smooth except for the dome which has some sort of texturing but nothing around the body itself and here's one last group shot and um, and uh, at the end of the day, I uh, highly recommend this set. Uh, it is a good set. And uh, a lot of key characters on here uh, from the X-Men. And uh, if you like the X-Men, then uh, it's definitely a set you want to get. Uh, yeah, so there you go. There's the X-Men wave from... Uh, what is this? Hasbro Marvel Legends series. Thanks for watching.